Hello everybody! Today's video will show you how you can save over 1000% on your next car rental in Norway. In today's video we will learn how to save up to 3045 euros on your next 7 day holiday in Norway. I know this sounds like a very bold statement but it's completely true and doable for almost everybody. Let's do this! This video is going to be extra short, so I'll just quickly go through the basics before showing you exactly how you can make your car rental cheaper. As a foreigner traveling in Norway and wanting to rent a car, up until recently you had to go for some of the well-known and larger car rental companies. This is why it's such great news that you can now rent a car through GetAround, which is a car sharing page where older people like you and me rent out their cars usually for a cheaper price than the professional companies. Also the professional companies turn the prices up like crazy in the summer, so you pay often 4 times more in July than in for example May. Let's look at an example here. If you want a Volkswagen Golf in Lofoten in May, you pay around 80 euros per day. Two months later in July you pay 400 euros. No wonder people think car rental in Norway is expensive. Let's show you right now how cheap it can be if you choose to rent with GetAround. We will compare GetAround with the larger companies. This is easy to do with the webpage rentalcars.com, where most of the known car rental agencies are represented. We will compare the same car with pickup in or around Leknes in Lofoten. In June, you can expect to pay 476 euros for a Toyota RAV4 if you rent it from a car rental agency. GetAround, on the other hand, charges you only 41 euros. Same car, same date, same place. This saves you 1154% or 435 euros every day you rent that car. Let that sink in for a little bit. And if you now think to yourself that the RAV4 is a large and exclusive car, of course it's expensive. Then let's go back for a second and refresh our memories with the Golf we just looked at for 400 euros a day. If you continue to July, the car rental companies keep the same price as June since it's already maxed out at 476 euros. The GetAround owner in this example increases his price to 51 euros. You will still save about 420 euros by choosing to rent a car with GetAround. In August it's still high season and rental cars now charge you 472. However, it's worth noting that some of their cars drop 50% in price after the 22nd of August. So traveling in the last week of August might be a good idea. Even though from the 1st of September rental cars decrease their prices again, the price difference between these two cars is still 414% and you still save 130 euros per day. It's worth mentioning that not all cities in Norway have the same extreme prices in the summer. Oslo and Bergen for example have more moderate prices even in July, but it's still a lot cheaper to go for GetAround. To finish up this video I will just quickly go through the pros and cons of GetAround versus rental cars. But first, if you like this video, we would love it if you would click that like button so we can reach out to even more people that need to hear this. Thank you, we appreciate it. The pros of GetAround is that you get cheap cars all over Norway whenever you want it to more or less the same price all over the year. However, when you rent with GetAround, you usually pick up the car where the owner lives, meaning you have to make sure that you know how to get there. Also, something to make note of is that most car rental agencies give you unlimited mileage. This might be practical if you're planning to drive a lot, get around usually gives you 200 kilometers a day. If the limited mileage should be a deal breaker for you, it's always possible to book the car for more days than you plan to use it, just so you can get above your planned mileage. Just make sure to let the owner know you're returning the car early. It will probably still be cheaper than renting a car with a car agency. If you're interested in planning a trip to Norway, we highly recommend you check out our maps of Western Norway and Lofoten before you do so. It will save you a lot of time and frustration, and it will make it a lot more fun to plan your next dream vacation in Norway. We hope you found this video interesting and helpful. If you did, we would be very happy if you would like to subscribe to our channel for more travel tips every week. And if you know somebody who wants to travel to Norway this year, feel free to share this video with them and help them save a lot of money. That's it from us today. Until next time, take care.